Tabor with United Country H5 Auction and Realty. I'm here with Johnny Horton. He's, hey, Amy. He's back behind the camera here. We are out uh, just north of Diana, Texas. At, uh, one of my listings with this uh, awesome event center. Uh, just sits off of uh, 726 uh, off of Highway 259 just north of town. Uh, it is sitting on just over approximately 36 acres. Um, it's very secluded. We sit about a quarter of a mile or so off of the road, um, off of the main road, and so we drive back here to this event center. Um, most recently, it's been used as a church um, and then an event center for some weddings, uh, showers, uh, parties, dances, you know, things like that. Uh, already out here, as you can see, it's got this awesome um, parking lot that's that's ready to go on one side of the building here as you can see we're just out here in the, the beautiful uh, pine trees of East Texas beautiful place let's go in and see what it looks like Wow. We'll come in here to this uh, front entry area, uh, gathering place, connect center, whatever, however you would want to use it. There's lots of potential um, if somebody wanted to continue the use of this as a church. Maybe your church is looking for a new center. Um, but obviously we can think outside of that and how it could be um, changed and you could utilize it for whatever your business was. Um, maybe you do have just um, an event center where you want to host, um, you know, weddings, maybe outdoor shows, um, events, and things like that. Uh, there's the, the option to, to change this to fit your needs however you want. Uh, right through this entryway on the left is where it goes into what's being used now. This is the main open space, and this is where they're using it for their sanctuary auditorium area. The majority of the personal property that you see here is also um, for sale. So again, if somebody did want this um, to use maybe as an event center and you needed the chairs, as a church and you needed the chairs, um, all of that is an option as well. Uh, Big room. Uh, the building is just actually just over 13,000 square feet. Oh, so awesome. Um, all under roof. It's a large, a large building. Um, back on this side uh, is the sound booth. So again, some of that equipment, if you needed that, is is available. Let me look inside there. Oh yeah. So it's got soundboard and everything that is negotiable. Right. Really? Wow. All right. All right, let's go straight on through the sound booth here. Um, this actually, this big wall right here with the curtains um, is temporary. So somebody could leave this to keep it partitioned off um, or you could remove it just to have the large open space. Um, you can see the round tables um, maybe used for for dining and things like that. One thing that you'll notice in this room, and we'll go ahead and walk over there, um, these large sliding doors, they're custom made, uh, but all of them slide open. Um, you saw the area at the front of the building with the parking lot, and it had that little covered area as we came in. Um, but there's the opportunity for somebody to come in and spend a little bit of money to have um, outdoor space on either side of the building and also all across the back. Awesome. And so you'll see there's an overhang out here on this back side. Oh yeah. Wow, what a nice building. That is awesome. And a nice view. Beautiful view. Did you say, what did you say, 35, 36 yeah, acres? Yes. 
very secluded. Back that direction where we're facing now is where the majority of the acreage is. Um, there's timber, so you'd be able to, if you didn't want to develop it, you would be able to keep that timber exemption. But there's also the opportunity to develop it. Um, you know, maybe a, a corporate retreat. Um, maybe somebody wanted to put some, some cabins or some um, little tiny homes for things like that. There's plenty of space and the opportunity to do that. All right, so back on this side of the, I don't know, I guess you'd call it Fellowship Hall or meeting area. They have a, uh, a kitchen back here. This opens up where you can have your, uh, your pass through your serving line or whatever. So this lifts up for you. Let's go to the store. <laughs> yeah, way to go, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> one's in, one's out. There you go. Okay. Nice large space. Um, most of the appliances that could be negotiated with the cell, um, but obviously a lot of space where you could um, add to make this kitchen work for you. It's got the exterior, exterior doors going out here. Plenty of entrances and exits. which then, you know, if somebody didn't need a big 13,000 square foot open room with so many um, entry points and exit points, you could add some walls within the building to, to have it fit for you. Yeah. Um, everything, there, as far as the AC goes, um, there's four units, I believe. Uh, the hot water and the heat are, um, there's a propane tank outside, and so that's going to run those. Um, there is a tankless hot water heater. Um, so obviously we've got the restrooms in here, and then what we'll see in, a, in a, just a minute, they have set up as a bridal suite, and there's a full shower. Uh, this area is just a, a big walk space. Uh, it's open up there. You know, if, if somebody did use this for a church or a meeting, a meeting center, um, I could see that turn into like a gaming area with maybe some pool tables or foosball tables, um, things like that. Maybe a big TV or a hangout room. Uh, here's a little area, a little lounge area. And again, it's got those big custom doors that slide open, so you have another um, exit way there. Here's a room that's being used currently as a nursery, um, a preschool room directly across. We come over for another room used as a nursery. You can come on this way. There's a, a pass-through. A pass-through to another, another room here that would be more for an office space. Just to get your bearings around you, if you want to turn this way, you'll see... You can also access this from the main okay. part of the building. Very good. Um, come in here. Can you just I was going to show you the tankless water heater. It's in this other closet. Let me get out of the you know, way. You know how many... Uh, is that 400... Uh, volts of electricity? You know, I on the know. electrical panels, looks like a lot of breakers. Or, I bet they're 200 amps each, so that'd be 400 amps. That's the. I'm sorry, that is the uh, pressure tank. Seeing that pressure tank reminded me. Did we already talk about being on a well? No, but it is on a well. Okay. There, there's a well out here. All right. Um, this is the room I was talking about earlier that's being used as a bridal suite, um, so there's some space here. Um, if you, there's also a dressing area here. If you did not need that for your business, um, this it could easily be rearranged to fit what you needed. This is the full bath right here with the shower. both of the restrooms. Um, 
This must be the ladies. There's a Mrs. there. This is the ladies' room. There are five stalls. Five stalls here. Okay. Two sinks. And it all, you know, this whole building fits for where we're sitting. It has a rustic feel and a rustic look with all the wood. Um, and then you notice the sinks in the bathroom. That's fine. We can come back this way. Um, with the, that were like the tin bucket. So it all, um, it fits our surroundings out here in the trees. And that'd be sick. We'll come this way for the men's room. Another couple of seats. Okay, very nice. Well, you want to walk this... outside and we'll take a look at the. Sure. It really, it really has potential for a corporate re retreat. Put some tiny houses out here and. Then you could bring your, your people in. You could have major meetings here. Is this pretty heavily wooded? Yes. Uh, once we get off of the hill here? Yes. I'm assuming this is kind of the high point. This is. This is the high point. The property. And it, it drops down this direction into the wooded area. Is there a creek through it? No. And that's the road that we came in on, right? Yeah, that's where, that's where we came in. That'll take you straight out to 726. How far is it from Diana? Uh, it's just a couple of miles out from the main part of the town. A couple and of miles from the school. And Diana's how far from Longview? About a 15 minute drive. Yeah, so it's pretty handy. 10 minutes from the north side of Longview. Okay. You know, and then if you're not familiar with the East Texas area um, where we're sitting, especially if you're looking at maybe um, running an event business, um, you know, you can get up here on I-20, it's two hours to Dallas. Uh, you, from I-20 the other direction, um, about an hour to Shreveport. So it's very accessible um, to the needs of the city. It also, we have a lot of people that come out here as a, as a retreat, as a getaway. We have lots of lakes in the area. And so people like to come out here and see the trees and see the nature um, and spend time out here and get away from the busyness and the hectic life of the city. Awesome. Very good. Amy, thanks for taking time to show us this beautiful uh, building and, and property. I don't even want to call it just an event center. It's got so much capability, but uh, thanks for your time. Yeah, thanks for checking it out. Um, if y'all have any questions, if you have any interest, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can find um, all the information on our website, h5auctionandrealty.com. We'll be sure and post a link to the listing here so that it'll take you there. Um, but if you have any questions, just give us a call. The office number is 903 686-0636. Again, our website is h5auctionandrealty.com. Thanks, Amy. See you next time.